welcome anyway guys no anyway okay. it's just well, starting who is starting me you like interjecting me <laughs> <laughs> Kama unaanza anza. I mean kiaza usini. Ayaanza basi that Hey guys, karibuni sana. This is episode I, I don't know which episode in terms of number, but I know what episode this is in terms of topic. Mm-hmm. And this is the delivery story, story time. Story time. So this is a different day. We've decided not to make popcorn because last time uh, someone tried and uh you were nice. You said it was nice. <laughs> don't don't dare. I anyway, we were well, learning. So to listen Maleo, uh, let's just come to you raw without any gimmicks. Ladies and gentlemen, the story you've all been waiting I hope they've been waiting for it. Eh? Yeah. I hope at ja- I hope we've not kept you waiting for so long. At until, a, we have. I know. Let's just get it, let's get it out away with. So, uh, what am I saying? This baby was uh, due on the 26th of March. Due on the 26th of November. Oh, November, correct. All right. The baby was due on the 26th of November 2021. That's my chicken. Uh, so, we had been gearing for that time. I'd even taken oh. sorry, I didn't even taken leave. For from my workplace for that those few days that at Friday. that time, as in you know you prepare your life according to that day. If anything, you, why you prepare your life mm-hmm. according to that day is because our son, our firstborn, came on the day on the D day that he was given. If you so, don't watch Blue Room stories, yeah. go watch Blue Room stories, the bath experience. All right, so we were like ah, even this one, our babies come on no, day. Our, our babies are very obedient. Timekeepers. Yes. <laughs> so. 25th, you know, we were here gallivanting and us, we like moving around at night. So we were just driving, we at the hub, eat some chicken, you know, like, I, I was just trying to make Soila eat everything you want today because yes. we know once the baby comes, yeah. you know, babies, not moving babies hold you like this for yeah. the first few weeks. So I was like, ah, just enjoy yourself, do whatever you want to do. So we drove around, you know, Kikuyu, Karen, Westy, you'd you, think we are clubbing. Did but, you go for mm-hmm. photo shoot that day? We went to the photo shoot the next day. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm-hmm. I can't believe it. So we went for the photo shoot. Our baby bum shoot. On the due day. <laughs> the day the baby was supposed to come. Yeah, and our plan was finish the photo shoot and then go to the hospital. And then go to the hospital. <laughs> Look at us plan. And 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 by the way, by now, like we told you before, we didn't do much with this pregnancy yeah, in terms did. of pre- preparing yeah. and pra- and planning a lot of good stuff because yeah. of just how baby busy showers. we were. So even this the photo shoot, we were about to miss it like yeah, this. We were about that. to miss it. But yeah. I was like, you know what? Yeah. I took I took some time from work to wait for this baby. Uh, there are still no signs of dilation. Why not? Dilation of labor. What did I say? Dilation. Dilation, I said dilation. There's still it's no labor. sign. There's no sign of labor. Okay, babe. <laughs> there's no there's no sign. So she don't have to pick a picture, at least it's a wasted day. So to kind of pick a picture, like, okay, now let's go home and wait. So that was 26. First of all, we were disappointed that, that the baby has not we are come. going, we are on the super highway mm. and I'm not feeling anything. I'm like, after doing all those photos, baby's not here. Ah, let's just go home and chill. Yeah. Went home. So we went home. And started uh, raining. Chilled that day. Chilled the next day. No, 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 no. We went home. Mm-hmm. Details matter. Men. No, so we, listen, no, we got let home. Me, no. no, listen, we got home. It, it rained, I remember. And then I'm like, I, I think this baby might come tonight. So let's go. Where do we all go for dinner? I said to go to the hub mm-hmm. to have ribs. Mm-hmm. Thinking that we may not even go back home mm-hmm. after this ribs. <laughs> we really wanted that baby to come on that oh day. Oh my God, we really did. Yeah. I was so prepared. We really wanted that baby to come on that day. But yeah. we went home, there was no sign. That yeah. was a Friday. Yeah. Saturday there was no sign. Sunday there was no sign. Yeah. Monday, Monday Tuesday, no Wednesday, Thursday there is no, no sign. sign. I'm like, this baby, what's <laughs> happening? Yeah. Alright, so the baby was late by a whole week. And, and at then, this time, mm-hmm. so I was beginning to get worried. Yeah. You know, like hey, you know, they say when a baby is late, it's now the amniotic the, fluid is yes, not as, as the, the womb is not conducive now for yeah. them to stay there. They need to come out, blah blah. Past a certain, mm-hmm. they they won't allow you to fix a certain yeah. a certain week. Yeah. But I remember again. I don't know if we've mentioned in the previous videos that my mucus plug had come out. No, you didn't mention. I didn't mention. Uh, so as we knew, labor is close yeah, because yeah. my mucus plug had come out. Mm-hmm. 
Um, it's one of the indicators that yeah. labor is about to start. Yes. However, sometimes it can stretch to it two can. weeks. Yeah, to two so. a, to a long time, honestly. Mm. So my makers had come out. My makers had come out like three weeks before. And so mm. any time from now, baby is going to come. But uh, apparently, this baby had other plans. Mm. So normally, they tell you not to wait. At around, they don't make you go past. I think 42 weeks or 41, 41 and a half weeks. They don't get, they don't want you to get to 42 weeks or something. Mm. If we are wrong, you can correct. But yeah, so we did, really did not want to go past 41 weeks. Mm. So by the time we're getting to 41 weeks, we're like, hey, I think we should just go. And I remember we used to take a lot of walks around the area we used mm. to live. To push a baby. Guy, and to then trigger the labor. Honestly, it was making things, it was moving things because yeah. every time I started even waddling like a penguin. Because mm. I'd get home and then sit down and I'd feel the pain. But it wasn't as much, but I'd feel the, the few contractions, but yeah. not so much to make you good. And possible. by the way, this, this pregnancy was very hard on Soila compared yeah. to the first one. Yeah. We'll tell you about that as we start talking about the delivery itself. Yeah. So, uh, this particular day I wake up in the morning, it's Friday, me I'm supposed to go to work. But Soila is telling me, hey babe, let's go to the hospital. It's been a week, I'm not comfortable, and the way I'm feeling, things are just weird. So I took an emergency off from work that day, drove Soila to the hospital. It was supposed to be a two hour or whatever, I take her back home, I go to work. So we go to the hospital, and uh, we find the doctor, the doctor is like, how are you guys, you are good, blah, blah, blah. So Soila says how she feels, and the doctor is like, ah, okay, let me check you. So as you're expecting, the doctor Actually, will say, said, wait, 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 wait. No, what no, we no, went no, and told no, her no, about. No, 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 Soila, you, this you is... You'll continue, you'll no, continue. No, no, you will, you, will, you will pick up no, I'm if just, I've said I'm, anything no, wrong. No, you're not saying, I'm just uh, correcting something. Don't correct. I, we just told the doctor, uh, we uh, are late by 41, we are now late, we are at 41 weeks. You see how this woman hijacks my <laughs> conversation. <laughs> we are late by 41 weeks. Um, what should we do? You can continue. That's the only thing you wanted to add. Yeah, because you left Imagine the story would have still flourished without that. No, it wouldn't have. So the doctor is like, okay, let me check. They went up there, you know, they, they he, did. She. No, it was a she. Yeah. Yeah, she went Not up they. there, checked. See, they, you and her. Oh. Yeah, checked you. And then the doctor is like, hey, madam, how are you feeling again? I'm feeling blah, 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 blah. Okay, how long has this baby been? Okay, so, so, so you are not going back home. <laughs> and you are <laughs> like, what? Yeah, you are two centimeters. Three. Three. Yeah. Yeah, she was like, you are three centimeters dilated. You yeah. can't go home like this. Yeah. And we were like, what? What? So Ella was feeling nothing. I was feeling uncomfortable. No, mm. not like not the labor yeah. contractions. Like there are many more contractions. But yeah. behind the story behind this is because again, with with Remani, who's our first one, we had prayed to God about a certain experience when it comes to giving birth. Mm. And I didn't want a painful birth experience. Mm. And honestly, even Remani's labor story was not as hard. Was not, it was, yes, a bit painful, but it was very easy to give birth to the kid. Um, even the moment I started having the contractions, we got to the hospital, and uh, within two hours, I already 10 centimeters. Three hours, mm. I was ten centimeters, and I was pushing out the baby. Three to you four hours, two. I'll do it you twice. twice. Like, eh! and then next, eh! and no, then no, 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 stop <laughs> it, stop it, no. Yeah. I remember what you're going, you're going to refer to the other video. <laughs> Realize there. Woo! <laughs> Josephine is telling Soila, Soila, breathe, eh? Breathe. Don't make noise. Okay, Soila is like, okay, okay. <laughs> Two seconds she's forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the nurses come. Agnes, because now the, the nurses have to call her by the first name. Agnes, every time you make noise, you, you use more energy and you need that energy to push. So don't make noise, just breathe. Okay, okay. Then she reminded, breathe, breathe. <laughs> A contraction hits. <laughs> <is. 
So we had, with Remani, we had desired a certain labor experience. And even with the second born, we said, God, I wouldn't want, I want to trust you for a smooth, um, a painless mm. labor, like labor process, particularly those waiting for giving birth. And by the time the doctor was telling me you're three centimeters, and I'm like, you mean I have been dilating and there is no pain? Like God could have been keeping the the prayer item that I told him mm. about a painless um, labor experience. And honestly, I was so shocked that I was three centimeters because the only thing that I was feeling as selling cut is okay, I'm feeling as though it's contraction. But it's not painful, so I'm not sure if it's a real, it could be Braxton Hicks. Mm. But Kumbe, there were actually real contractions. Mm. The woman here was dilating. So she says, we are not going home. Yeah, she says, you are not going home. Uh, Mr. Husband, if you need to get anything from home, go. Otherwise, you're staying here. So all my plans for the day I had to cancel. Uh, yeah. Quickly went to book. I remember you're supposed to go to work in the afternoon. Yeah, I had to cancel that. So we quickly rushed downstairs, uh, booked the insurance. Do insurance, man, you know, long process. Honestly, insurance process is so long. So Curtis is inside there, me, I'm like, I'm not sitting down. This baby is coming the next two hours. So I'm just facing up and up. Curtis is like, sit down. I'm like, no, 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 no. The baby has to drop so that we just, when we get to the word, it's pushing time. We pace down and then they come and tell us we have to go for COVID test. And I'm like, another COVID test? I did COVID test two weeks ago. Okay, I'm a month ago and I know I've not finished. I got September, okay, like three months ago. Uh -huh. So I know I'm clean. I do not have COVID. But they had to take you to the COVID. So you went, I remember I went to the COVID room mm. and I was bent to, to, to stay. Remember that cabin? I was like, no, I'm not staying here. <laughs> Shut up, my choice. <laughs> so, that, that was so short. She was actually very fast. She was good. Mm -hmm. Like, no, 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 it's not happening. So, um, did the injection, did the COVID test, got my basin and everything, and the nurses came, and then they took me to the room, and we got into room 515 or 5 whatever. Why? Don't film that. <laughs> oh, it's a selfie. Uh, <laughs> A very VIP room. So we're going to give you the real and raw experience of how our delivery process was. That is including the hospital we went to, the room, the services. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just to help someone out there. Yes. So the room was really beautiful. Um, it was a VVIP room. I think it was a VIP room. No, it was a VVIP. No, no, it was a VIP. It was a VIP. It was a VIP room. Brilliant lighting, brilliant view, wonderful space. Like if you have your entire family who has come to see you, they can find a place to sit. It was state of the art equipment. We loved it. Really state of the art equipment? It was good room. It was state of the art. No.
anyway, it was good. Yeah, me, was I, me, I think it was a very, very wonderful facility. I, yeah, it was just in the middle of uh, labor. Yeah, I think so. Ella's mind was somewhere else. So, me, I was one who was sucking in, taking in the details of the place. Because you were shooting. Because I was shooting, I was recording mm-hmm. for such a time as this. So it was around two, mm. and I remember when we told the doctor, she actually wanted us to do um, induction. Yeah. She wanted us to do induction, artificial induction, which is you are given the way. And I was like, no, I do not want that in kind of induction. The pain is going to be crazy, and I'm already to have pain. Me, I, I, I just, my threshold was, I hate pain, even for a needle. So. <laughs> See, it's true. Kama kuna mtu anapenda raha, soft life. I <laughs> pain. So they wanted to put for me. I'm like, so you put for me the why? And then I stayed there, pain. I was like, no. So what we'll do, if by a certain time I wouldn't have dilated to give birth, then what we can do, the only induction I want is membrane stripping. It's an uncomfortable thing to do, but... I'd rather eat because it's a bit more natural. Like, yeah, sour, sour. So, 2 to 30, we're in the room. Katya said to go get juice because now, now we are hungry. We hadn't taken, we had taken very little breakfast because we knew we were coming back home either way. So, we cut his went outside to go get for us uh, food. Mm-hmm. And I just told him I want orange juice for energy, mango juice. So, he didn't find mango juice, he bought passion juice. Then the guys, the hospital brought in food, now mm-hmm. lunch. Mm-hmm chicken and some stuff and I wasn't into it at all. It was just <laughs> it wasn't the best food. I have had good better food. food enough. Better food at a hospital. So that one was not just I did not actually eat the thing that is that is that who been ate more. No, see I came with food. Did you you came oh you came with yeah, you brought you chips and food. yes you brought chips and chip wet fries and, and wet fries. So mm. that's what we ate this hospital food I just couldn't eat the gravy. That's all. The rest, and it was chickens, dry and rice, or mashed potatoes and what. But it was not so good. So took the juice, and didn't even have appetite for the chips, but kidogo, and that was it. Started again, pacing up and down. As Kat is recording and watching CG BBC, me and pacing up and down. But I was helping you with some stretches. Up before, down. Before it got to us. Yeah, before it got to us. No, after it got to us. No, so before. You did? Before. All right. So, mm-hmm. and then we are remembering things that we hadn't Cut. bought for the baby. And they're like, oh, shoot. Roger. Roger is a very, Roger and Joy. Very good um, friend Friends. of ours. So we call them to come and bring us some stuff that we had forgotten. I remember Curtis ordering some mafutas and some bunis from my dawa because we were like, Ach. some of those things we had in fact, you know, yeah. like second time, let me tell you, second time baths. We're like, ah, the baby can survive. What is? We knew to know you dog and like But so Curtis is like, hey, my dawa, they brought things to the hospital. Hey, Roger and Joy, Roger and Joy were in a meeting. I think they were even at work. They left work. Went to our house, we even zoom like WhatsApp calling, WhatsApp mm-hmm. video. Eh, Angalia po chidayo wadro, toto. apo chini yo kabati ya pili. <laughs> get socks, eh, get mittens, mm-hmm. get an extra yeah. <laughs> blanket. Cheso. So yeah. yeah, we did that and then they got to the room and around five. They got to the room around five, five, six. And then they started chapaying storo, started chapaying storo, and then me, my, I'm just feeling a certain type of way now. So around five six, my body now starts telling me it's about it's, time. No, it's about time. Now the contractions are a bit stronger than what I used to feel. Then I'm really tired mm. and hungry. One mm. because I've been pacing up and down since we got to the hospital at eleven ten. Two, I do not want to lie down because mm. the doctors are telling me if you lie down, you're just reversing your labor process. Mm. So just be on your toes. Yeah. And I was already so tired. Um, we finished conversations here with Kinataracha and then they leave us to continue laboring. 